Why confess with a Catholic priest? Let's go straight to the heart of it. Already in the Old Testament, it's written that I need a priest to be purified from my sins. The Lord said to Moses, if a man or a woman sins against the Lord, that person shall confess the sin. And if he cannot make restitution, it shall fall to the Lord, that is, to the priest. I don't know if we're distracted or if we've understood. Here it says, the Lord, that is, the priest. In this case, we see Christ in the priest. That is, in the person who has received the ministry from God in Jesus Christ through St. Peter and the College of Apostles, that is, the bishops, and through the bishops to the priests. The priest doesn't act in his own person, but he acts, to say it in technical Latin terms, in persona Christi. And when he says, Ego te absolvo from your sins, and nomine patris et fili et spiritu sancti, when he says these words, it is Jesus who tells us, I absolve you from your sins. Remember what Jesus says, and then we'll come back to it, after the resurrection, immediately after the resurrection, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. So whoever has their sins remitted by these people pass from death to life. St. Paul says when we were dead in our sins, we were brought to life. And elsewhere he will say, through a bath of regeneration, which, first of all, is baptism, and then holy confession. If we want to be saved, what if I told you? I want to know how someone can really be saved, in what does salvation consist? We can listen to a famous passage that says, the knowledge of salvation, which is in the forgiveness of sins. There we have the knowledge of full salvation, which only the Catholic Church has from generation to generation. St. Francis of Assisi talks about someone who doesn't want to confess with a Catholic priest. He says, you know with certainty that it is a temptation of the devil, and the most certain proof is that he doesn't want to confess with a Catholic priest. It's a bad word, how is that? I don't know why lie, what harm is that? I called that guy crazy, what harm is that? I hit somebody in the head, what harm is that? Well, but even if a thought passes my mind, do I have to go to confession every five minutes? Every five minutes, no, but both St. Francis and Padre Pio said that more or less he should go to confession every week. St. Augustine says that man can't help having at least light sins from the very moment he is in the flesh. But you shouldn't take those sins lightly, which are considered light. You make little of them when you weigh them. But what a fright when you count them, when you number them. Many light things put together make something heavy. Many drops make a river, and many pebbles make a mound. What hope do we have? First and foremost, confession. I remember in Milan, after 15 years of not going to confession, I gone to the Duomo almost every Sunday for six years in a row, either for women or for strange cigarettes, but I'd never entered the church, never. That time when I went to confession, only because I was on a journey of faith, as soon as the priest told me, I absolve you of all of your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I felt the pardon of God. I said to myself, the Lord has pardoned me. After all the mess I've made, he's pardoned me, and I felt so free. 